guys, Swim Vegas is here and I'm back with more Supergirl. I'm super excited for this one. Uh, I've managed to actually keep myself pretty spoiler free now that it, the, the season is back in full swing. I've managed to keep myself rather spoiler free even though I'm still catching up. Um, pretty excited. Uh, but the only thing I really know that's potentially going to happen in this episode is it's about Martians because McGon was like, they're coming for me, which is really like, whoa, okay. So I figure we're probably going to be seeing some white Martians. Uh, other than that, I have no idea. And I'm not going to get on the topic of how the last one ended with Monel because I, I'm just, I'm not even going to start that. I'm just going to, I'm going to go. I'm just, I'm just sailing into this. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, God, I love Kara. I love that she's just like, if, she, if he's going to be honest with her, she's going to be honest with him. He told me he liked me the other day. I am so shocked. I am shocked. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was to tell him, and I just shoved both feet into my mouth. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. It was, though. It really, it, it really was. was. Kind of was. <sighs> but on to more important things. Food, fair naked ladies. Tonight. Oh, and I mean, she knows that I've loved them since college, and it would be our first concert. So Maggie and had so no I idea. Maybe if there's. Oh no! Celebrating another night. Oh, this is just gonna go bad. <laughs> well, you're not gonna believe this. One of the guys at my precinct is working security at the venue tonight, and he was able to upgrade our tickets to VIP. Boom! Oh my God, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> that is that's great. <laughs> Oh, Kara! Someone had the baby! Sounds like you guys are gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Are you. Are you sure? No! Go, have fun. Okay. No, Kara, if you. Oh, poor baby! And Alex is just so excited! Kara. You ready? Well, like I said, they're coming. They're not here yet, so you can stop. Oh, they're here! They're here now! <laughs> I feel like, uh... Alex's concert's gonna get interrupted, isn't it? It's here for me. Hunting me. The white I saw mask guys in the background! For my war crimes. They're telling me. Psychically. In which case, you'll have to remain here. If you go outside, you're vulnerable. I can't put you all in danger. That's what we do. We protect people. I don't need protection. Look on. You're making a Vescus! I saw Vescus! No Where the hell has she been? Is she the White Martian? Is Vasquez gonna be the White Martian? God damn it. She's gonna be the White Martian, isn't she? It's taken me hundreds of years to learn to trust again after. After what my people did. You are not your people. Okay. Thank you! I've been waiting for Sean to say that like all season. <laughs> To put yourself before us. Um, I think I was in college. How about you? Oh, Alex what? is upset. Oh, uh, I remember. You know, for a super fan, you're not that excited. No, I am. I promise. Really? Because I've seen your face when you defeat a bloodthirsty alien. I know what excited Alex is. What excited looks like. And this isn't quite it. No, this is. It's perfect. All of it. I just. I'm um, with Kara. I sense a butt coming. I think I hurt her feelings. That's so. I'm sorry. I'm. I don't want you to be sorry. I just wanted you to have fun. And right now, something's eating at you. No. No. I'm, yes. I'm just mm -hmm. distracted. So now, I'm gonna forget about it for the rest of the evening. I want you to have fun with your girlfriend. It's. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I promise. Absolutely. And let me guess, they're gonna be like locked into the EO or whatever, and Alex is gonna miss the concert. It's clear on the Martian front. We were about to game plan some new tracking techniques. Uh, Vasquez! Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna just yell every time I see her. In any way that I can. Oh my god. Oh no, the white Martian is among them! Oh no. No, no. <laughs> Win! Never learn, do. It could be any of us. Dun, dun, dun! I just felt like that was necessary. Oh, ah, gotta shake it out. We're gonna beat him. 
First things first, I'm gonna collect everybody's sidearms. Are you crazy? Hey, will somebody take his gun? Yeah, will somebody take his gun away? Quit pointing your guns! Sean. You okay? He no like fire. Sean. He's not doing it. Hey! Fire terrifies him. Man. Green! Yay! But fire terrifies him real bad. Wait, but if that's not Wynn, where's Wynn? Because Wynn was in the room when the White Martian attacked, so he's got to be in here somewhere. Where's the real win? This whole building's gonna explode. Oh, lovely. Ten city blocks with it. Well, we should probably stop that. But this thing, wind was there when the second Magan showed up, so where's the real Why win? Why would he want to blow the building up? He's inside too, he'll die. It does Theo. Look at Supergirl, X-ray vision the building to find him. No, someone lined the walls of the building with lead. Jean. <laughs> Jean. The reactor explodes. According to our calculations, about fifteen minutes. Lovely. Two teams up through the north. What? Look around the corner. Oh. oh. <laughs> she doesn't know the military hand jargon. I don't think I realized what was actually happening. I didn't know that I was saying goodbye to them forever. Well, you don't have to do that with Alex. I've been abandoned before, and I didn't want to be abandoned again. You won't. I will never abandon you. What was that? Let's find out. Now that's that's a damper sister moment that I wanted. Okay, well, find him in time. Space dance up and feel it, guys. <laughs> Your spirit is so beautiful and brave. Now that I'm able to see that, I can't imagine my life without you. I'm brave because you showed me how to be. I'll protect you, Mama. Ah, space dad! Space dad! Is that another person? Is there more than one white Martian? Supergirl? What's up, Sean? We were wrong. There are two white Martians in the building. What? It's Alex. What? The other white Martian has shapeshifted into Alex. Alex? You guys are so dumb. <gasps> oh, no! So the damper sister moment wasn't a damper sister moment. It was all trickery. Wait, wake up. Wait, wait, fuck up. Was that, why was that, was that on the ceiling? <laughs> what? Wait, the white Martians are here. Yes. The white Martians are here. Almost there. How long till you disable the reactor? Core breach in four minutes. About four minutes? That's a good answer. <laughs> four <laughs> minutes? Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Come on, man, you got this. Hopefully, please, please say you got this. Damn, a gun. Way to fuck him up. Still got one more to deal with. No, no, she knocked him out. Stabilized. Twelve seconds to spare. Close. We had like, you know, twelve seconds to spare. <laughs> you okay? Well, yeah. Thank you. Alex. Goddamn! How much I love my new gun. <laughs>
I know she did. I'd forgotten that feeling until now. What it feels like to have a family. Which is what makes this so hard. She's leaving, isn't she? I'm going back to Mars. Why? There must be other voices like mine. White Martians who have the desire and the capacity to change. Who don't want to be defined by the, the hatred of our kind, but just need a push to do the right thing. No! My God can't I'm leave. Sure Maybe. Come on, it's Space Dad. Please don't be Mon. Please don't be Mon. <gasps> Happy Earth Birthday. Look, there's a K. <laughs> He's gay. Well, go ahead, blow it out. Gently. I keep feeling like it's gonna be like the big end scene and then there's more. And then I feel like it's a big end scene and then there's more. <laughs> Confused. Our mech ship is in low Earth orbit. I can transmit up to it from here. Will you tell them at the bar? I will let them know that you're going away. John, about what you said before. Shouldn't I have said anything? It's totally inappropriate. I feel it too. I have for a while. I just didn't know what it was. I just had one of the hardest nights of my life and I'm heading into something. I probably won't survive, but standing here with you. Why all the feels? Okay. Why are they giving me the feels? They like to torture me. Changed me forever. Marshy family. Goodbye, Sean. Martian. I'm having far too many feelings right now. <sighs> so pure. So precious. Too many feelings right now. Space Dad's having feelings. I'm having feelings. something uh, uh, precious and adorable is Megan and John and I'm just like they're so cute like it's so it's just the way that the Martians like express their feelings is so pure and so precious where it's not like I love you or I feel feelings for you it's your soul your spirit is beautiful I'm like <sighs> and of course of course Megan's gonna leave like, the only aliens left on Mars are the White Martians, but they can't all be, like, her her mate or whatever, I can't pronounce his name, but, you know, all like them. They can't all be like that White Martians. There has to be more White Martians out there like Magan, and I totally see what she's doing by going back and, and trying to find them. Trying to help. Because that... And, and it's really kind of precious where she's like, you know, Jean, you, you taught me to be brave. You, I'm doing something you taught me to do in, in, in a way. And that's just when that last scene. Oh, they are precious. And I'm, I'm going to miss Magan. But at least Jean knows he's not alone. He may be still is the only green Martian left. But he's not alone. Um, the whole thing with Alex and Kara, 
like, I know that technically it was the White Martian, but the White Martian was te- telepathically connected to Alex when they had that conversation, and it, Kara was 100% herself, you know, and I do like that Alex kind of brought it up and was like, I just want to reiterate that technically it was the White Martian saying it, but I'm, that I'm still reinforcing that is that I really am not going to abandon you. Like, yes, I'm spending more time with Maggie, so I'm not around as much as I used to be, but I will never leave you. Like, if you need me, I will be here. You know, and and I can understand that. Sometimes it's hard. I, I have a relationship like that with my little sister. I am, I mean, she is the world to me. But every time, you know, new friends or... or a new relationship comes into my life, it takes a bit to kind of learn how to balance it, balance the new. And, you know, sometimes that happens. But I'm really glad that Alex came back, where she didn't just, you know, call Maggie and let her know, like, hey, you know, D.E.O. was her dad by evil aliens, so I missed the concert. And, you know, instead of spending the night with Maggie, she was like, okay, I need to make this right with Kara. And spent, you know, at least went to see Kara. You know, and I really... I like it. And I'm not even going to get on the topic of Monel. I'm not going to do it. No. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't like it. And I am just going to leave it there. But I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!